We've been here for three years at Salt River Elementary um, since the inception or beginning of Mars Day. Um, and we were asked to come and do some um, talks and activities with the students that kind of help them to learn about things beyond our planet and especially about the red planet Mars. Today I, I began uh, sort of getting acquainted with the students by introducing myself and my background and how I got into science. We had uh, an opportunity for a presentation of uh, some basic ideas about Mars as a planet, as a habitat and environment. What do storms on Mars do to Mars? And then we had a lot of really good questions from the students, uh, really astoundingly like good questions, so it was a lot of fun. The kind of advice we would give to a student that was interested in exploring space or becoming an astronaut or maybe a scientist or engineer to work on uh, one of the missions that will be in the future would be to learn as much technology, learning uh, about science and just being good observers of the world around them. If you're interested in STEM, you know, then find out what area specifically and then, you know, put yourself into it completely and be driven by your passion for the science or engineering that you're doing and uh, the rest will work itself out. Hello to Salt River El Elementary School in Arizona. A lot of the Native American students that I've worked with think in much deeper terms in terms of the way they approach things and the way through their traditional kinds of teachings that they've had. Sometimes the scientists and engineers haven't thought about those ways and the, the approaches and the deep thinking that they're able to do is something that's very precious and very needed in a lot of our kinds of exploration today. The kinds of, of contributions that Native students can bring to these kinds of, of careers is very important and I would encourage them to think about, you know, trying to keep their traditions, um, if they have language, learn the language and keep it. Um, respect their elders and their teachings because I think that that brings a lot of value to our world today and that's something really important.